In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put voice acting into your RPG Maker MZ game, and make sure you stick around till the end of the video so you can see the awesome visual effects I've put over the top of this map. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials, and just general discussion about RPG Maker, then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now to start off, we're just going to set the scene. So we're going to have an evil guy right up the front here. It's going to be this man with a cloak. Then we're going to have our other party member, so we'll load him in. We'll just call him Magus. Now we're just going to select one of these to be the controller for the cutscene. So I'll double click on Magus. We're going to set him to auto run. And now what we need to do is just fill this screen up with some text. Now we've got a little bit of text here. I'm just going to quickly add some bazazz to the cutscene right at the start. Alright, so we've got our dialogue here. Next thing you want to do is open up Audacity. Once we're in Audacity, we just want to hit record and we're going to do it line by line. So the first line here is an evil guy going, so you've come for your demise. So I'm going to say that into Audacity and then we'll edit it so it sounds a bit more evil. So you've come for your demise. And once you've finished editing and playing around with your voice file, you want to go up to export and we're going to export it as an OGG. Then we're going to find our game folder. In our game folder, we're going to save it in audio and ME. Now, I suggest you come up with a naming convention for all of your voice actors, but for now, I'm just going to call this Line 1. Make sure you get all of your voice lines, so I'm just going to go through and record them all now. Alright, once you've got all of your audio edited and recorded, you want to jump back over into the engine and right before any text line, so this one here is the text line, so you've come for your demise. We're just going to open that one up and then play ME. We're just going to play line one. So you've come for your demise. So that one's going to play, and then we're just going to do the same thing all throughout. So we'll double click, play line two. Oh, you're never gonna give in to the likes of you. We're going to play line two right before the text. So you play the ME and then you show the text. So we'll just do that for the rest of them. And at the end of it, this is what your page should look like if you've got voice acting. By the way, if you guys are liking this video, you should literally like this video by scrolling down and hitting the like button. The reason the audio is cutting in and out is because we played this as an ME instead of an SE. So we'll go back and change it all to an SE. Jump on over to your game folder, and from ME we're just going to take line 1, 2, 3, 4, Control C, copy them. We're just going to paste these in these sound effects. Now we'll go back into the game, double check there under sound effect. Yep, there we go, line 1, 2, 3, and 4. And over in our event page, instead of play ME line 1, we're going to delete that and change it to play SE line so 1. You've come for your demise. Just going to change all of these MEs to SEs and this should sound 10 times better. Alright, so instead of ME, these are all now SEs. This is what I should have done from the start, but we're all human, we all make mistakes. Let's jump back on over into game and test that out. Now, if everything's gone to plan, we should hear some awesome voice acting. So you've come for your demise. We're never going to give in to the likes of you. That's right. We're going to stop your reign of terror once and for all. I'd like to see you try. And that is how you add voice acting to your RPG Maker MZ game. If you want to check out some more RPG Maker related content, then click subscribe and or one of the videos that will be showing up on your left side of the screen. I'll see you guys in the next video.